All right, guys, so this is a 2003 Toyota Corolla, and it's a 1.8 1ZZ EF motor. Uh, we're going to be replacing the spark plugs. So what you want to do is basically remove this 10 millimeter bolt on the top here. Then you might have two pieces of plastic in the back. Just remove those plastic pieces, and this thing comes right off, okay? Uh, we have two, four 10 millimeter bolts that's holding down these coil packs right here. This is a four cylinder. And it's going to take your 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, whatever you have. Get it loosened up. Okay. And these things should come right out with our fingers. Okay, and then to take these um, coil pack wire harness off, you just squeeze it, and I like to use a screw, flat screwdriver, just kind of help push it out so that I'm not pulling on the wires itself, and then the coil pack comes right out just like that. So I'm going to do that for, to all four of these real quick. Things should just slide right out. Oh, this one's a real bugger. Okay, so. I might have to remove the uh, coil pack wire harness right here, this little bank, because some of these are coming out. This one is being real stubborn, and I think it's because it sits right below this wire harness bank. So let me go ahead and remove that. And that's also a 10 millimeter. Hopefully we can just loosen it up. We don't have to take it all the way out. And there's two 10 millimeter nuts right here. So I'm just going to run that out just a little bit. Just get it loose. There we go. Okay. All right. To get the spark plugs out, uh, you're going to need a 5 8 spark plug wrench. Uh, what's unique about a spark plug wrench is that it has this little um, a place where you can put a wrench on here. It looks a little bit different than like your normal socket. Normal socket's all round like this. Also, there's a rubber insert on the inside. So when you put this socket down in the, over the spark plug, that rubber, that rubber inside will grab onto the spark plug, uh, the very tip of it, and help you get it out. And we're going to be replacing these with a Denso Iridium spark plugs, which is their OE. And you want to make sure you use Denso on your Toyotas. I would not go with any other brand, maybe NGK, but don't go cheap. Just go with the original OE. Uh, these are pretty bad. It's all corroded. There's no oil down in here, which is good, but it's heavily oxidized. Yeah, that one's heavily oxidized as well. Okay, so this one's got a little oil on the very top, but not the tip. Uh, this is probably because of the oil leak in the valve cover gasket. So now that's been uh, replaced. I'm going to check this spark plug, this number three spark plug, uh, next week. Okay, and this one's also heavily oxidized. So it's a good thing we're replacing all the plugs today. So once again, we're going to replace these with the Denso. Uh, this is the, the OE replacement, and these are Japanese plugs made for Toyotas. Okay, so all the plugs are pre-gapped and ready to go. So all you need to do is put the new spark plug into your spark plug socket. Oh, let me get some um, anti-seize on these things. So I've got a big bottle of anti-seize right here. Um, I recommend when you buy plugs to get a little bit of this and just put a little bit on the thread just like that. Because uh, these threads are steel and when you're going into a different metal like aluminum head uh, they oftentimes can seize up so to prevent that from happening 
you want to put a little bit of anti-seize on the thread. So when you got to replace these again in the next... Okay, so snug and a quarter turn. All right, and we're going to put our coil packs back in. And snap the wire harness back on. And they go in pretty much one way. So that makes this pretty easy. Okay, and then put your four bolts to fasten down your coil packs. Okay, again, snug and a quarter turn. Quarter turn. Okay, so while you're, while you're doing this as spark plugs, uh, this might be also a good time to go ahead and replace your PCV valve. Uh, usually spark plugs and the PCV valve are replaced at the same time around 50,000 miles. Um, I like to replace my plugs every 35,000 miles uh, just because these plugs are you know pretty cheap considering overall and the perform and how it impacts your performance um, and also like this PCV valve is under 20 bucks it's so easy to replace uh, it'll keep your seals from blowing up um, and also keep you know your engine running smoothly as it should so there's my advice for you guys uh, that's pretty much it we can put the cover back on and that's all there's to it Okay, and the last thing we want to do is turn the engine over and make sure everything starts properly.